for everything scary I'm um, GM haunts and today I am at the inaugural East Coast Haunters convention here in Oaks Pennsylvania Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the very first booth for East Coast Haunters Convention 2024. I should mention this is the inaugural year of East Coast Haunters, the very first time ever that this show is being held here in Oaks, PA. Very, very excited for East Coast Haunters. And right here we have the show sponsor, just like at Transworld, the big show in St. Louis, who the Transworld actually is operating this show as well. Froggy's Fog. We can see some fog machines around. They actually have a bunch of fog scents that you're able to smell and try out here. Obviously, wish I could get all of you to be able to smell these things through the camera, but unfortunately, we don't have the technology to do that. Chad, smell him. Smell right there? Can you smell it? We got Spooky Guy 444 right here. It smells horrible. It smells horrible? Well, you're gonna have to take his word for it because you can't smell it through a camera, unfortunately. Over here, we have some other fog machines, and as you can see, they are going off actively, just like they do at Transworld in St. Louis, which looks pretty awesome. They also do have a bubble machine that's going off on a timer, I believe. You can see some different fog juice here at Froggy's Fog. They have the classic green lighting, like they have at Transworld, some low-lying fog down there. Very, very cool. And then, of course, I love this. I saw this at Transworld in the beginning of March, and I still love it. The, uh, the flame effect is incredible. It looks so real in person, like a real flame. The lighting looks great, the, fog, the amount of fog, everything about it, very, very cool. It's extremely loud in here, just like it is at Transworld, but we're making do. Come over here, second booth, we got Ghost Ride, another awesome company that we saw at Transworld. I actually saw this guy at Transworld, he was awesome. We got her, look how creepy. Super creepy here. We got some pumpkins right here. A bunch of guts. Ghost Ride makes some phenomenal pieces. Really, really nice props. Just take a look at how awesome that is right there. Super, super cool. Hanging props over there. We'll move over here. So much gore at Ghost Ride. I really enjoy their products. Take a look at all this. That one doesn't even have a face. That is crazy. Over here. That one. We got a pig's head. This is crazy stuff. Really, really nice product. By the way, I should mention, we have Halloween Haunter. Chad is right here next to me. Kill me. We have right here. We are filming at the same time. We'll move over here. Where are we going, Chad? We're going to go over to VFX Creates. Another phenomenal company. I love seeing them at Transworld, and now I can see them here at East Coast. VFX Creates. They have the bungee heads. Chad, what do you think about the bungee heads? Uh, they're awesome. They have they're really awesome. cool, like, little apartments over here. Like their the stuff. And the it's so cool. Horns. It's so cool. I love the bungee heads. Look at these here. Super gory also. I love the detail. Yeah, the pumpkins are cool. I like the devil. Take a look at the devil down there. That is so cool. These are really nice. I saw that one at Transworld. We got the VFX catalogs with that awesome cover. Such a cool company. They have the same sign they had at Transworld too, which is awesome. Look at that one. Look at this. Over here, we have another one of my favorite companies. They obviously, yes, we're at Transworld. This is Dust Productions. Really awesome looking creatures, monsters, statics, everything like that. Take a look at this right here. I'm trying to get it to focus on the face. Come on. Let's stand this way. Really cool, sta there we go. Really cool statue with moss on it, handout. Love the look of that right there. Really, really cool. This is the throne that they actually had at Transworld also with their logo. Some of the ghosts, I believe those are at Transworld. Another statue, like this one right here. Look at this witch. Really nice. A lot of gore also at Dust Productions. Look at all that stuff. I look at that, crazy gory. Really crazy, I remember uh, having from Transworld. Really cool ghost. 
with the uh, uh, blood and all the, the trick or treating bucket, the knife. Look at his eyes. Look at how realistic those eyes are. Yeah, this one doesn't even have a head. It's basically just blood all over the body. Really creepy. Okay, so Witch Doctor Designs is the booth right here. They have amazing products. A lot of toxic stuff, which you know I love my green, lime green toxic right here. Toxic fog blaster, and he's going off. Let's take a look. This is so cool. His face has lights in it, and you'll see in a second what he does, I believe. Look at there's already fog going off. I don't even know from where, behind there somewhere. Look at this. That is so neat. Really, he has so much fog in it. The whole base turns. Almost like a full 360. He's got a full fog machine in his arm. That is awesome. Again, that's the toxic fog blaster. Over here you have a uh, a barrel of blood. Check the blood fountain. Look how cool that is. Blood is coming down. Looks like a skeleton's in there. You have another version of the toxic fog blaster right there. But this, this right here, my absolute favorite item. You know I love my lime green. And this is so cool. It's a different version of the blood fountain, but the toxic fountain with black barrels, with green biohazard logos, and green liquid, real green liquid. That's actual liquid in there. That's not an effect or a screen. That is so cool looking. Again, Witch Doctor Designs. Really nice characters over here. You got this creepy one with some horns, one with a bloody face. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at what else we're gonna have here. What else we have? We got a pig, butcher, you can see right there. Really nice. What, this is Creepy Collection. You can see the sign right there. Creepy Collection. I don't remember seeing these people at Transworld. Oh, look what they have over here. Uh oh, my favorite. They have Arthur Clown. Wow. Really nice. I actually like the look of this one a lot. Bloody Arthur Clown. He's on one knee. Terror Clown, as you can see. I like these static characters a lot. Really neat ones. Realistic blood. It looks like Crimal Blood on there because it's glossy. Pretty nice. You can actually see Creepy Collection banner right there. They may have been at Transworld. I may take that back, like I said before. There were so many things at Transworld, I kind of forget, but that one right there. Look at all the blood on these. Really nice. I like these Oompa Loompas. Creepy ones. They have a Willy Wonka. Look at the look at that Willy Wonka. Creepy Scarecrow. Another Oompa Loompa. And then, like I showed, we have a ghost back there. The Butcher. That's right there. Look at it. That's a VHS tape. Pretty cool. Really nice. I like these a lot. Just take a look at the detail on that. The blood looks amazing. Very, very cool. Over on this side, we have some perma blood. We have a nice flame machine up there. Can't have one of these conventions without a lot of perma blood, and they have it right here. Look at all the perma blood. Very nice. Hauntedprops.com. I actually like the look of that thing. That's pretty neat. Some skeletal stuff. Get some candles. Pig's head. Pretty nice. Different things going on there. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't want to miss this guy. Nice zombie. Over here, I gotta take a look at this. This is the Haunt Informer. First of all, we got Jack is back from the source right here. The Haunt Informer booth. Very, very cool. Big fan of Haunt Informer. Make sure to go subscribe to him on YouTube. Got some clown shoes right here. Really nice clown shoes. I like to look at these ones a lot. Look at all the blood on them. They're shiny, they're glossy. Super, super cool. Let's see what else this company has. Looks like they have a bunch of clown stuff. They have a cool clown down there. If you want to take a look at it. looks like a old school circus clown. Look at him. Look at the close up of this guy. Very, very nice. Looks super detailed. I like all that. What's this guy down here? This one is sold. Wow. That is cool. Got some awesome teeth on there. Oh, he's got eyes. Look at that. Very cool. Look at all the blood on there. This is Studio 1031 Concepts. Very cool. I do want to quick uh, make a turn over here. We're going to go take a look at the Haunted Hill Farm booth. It is right over here. Haunted Hill Farm's got some big things coming this year. But before we take a look at that, that Jason right here. Look at that. What's he got? Uh-oh. <laughs> he, he was stuck in his hand. What do we got here? Look at that. Very, very cool. Take a look, we got Haunted Hill Farm. They got big stuff going on this year. Smoldering Ghoul back there. Haunted Hill Farm, there's the banner. Harvester of Souls is on there. 
Over here, there's some makeup going on, it looks like. Very similar to how Transworld operates in St. Louis, where they have live makeup demonstrations. So you can see how to professionally do uh, makeup for your haunt or whatever you're doing. Prominently haunts. So they got a live makeup demonstration going on. We'll take a quick look at what they're doing here. We got some black, uh, black light makeup right there. We'll take a look at what they're doing here. Looks like a, oh, don't want to cover his face. Looks like a zombie, like a mummy almost. You can see their airbrushing right now. Pretty cool. Always nice to see the live makeup demonstrations. Over here, we got the backside of Ghost Ride. This one is weird. Look at the face on that. Try to get a focus. There we go. Really cool. That is so realistic. That looks like a real skin tone. Very cool. And then, of course, Shattered FX. One of my favorite mask companies. They were at Transworld, obviously. They also have weapons, as you can see here. But they have so many cool masks. I love the green masks that they make. You can see the green pumpkin right there. I'll try to get closer to it here so we can take a better look at these uh, Shattered FX masks. We got the sign up there. Look at all these masks. One of my favorite companies. I love the way that their their the skin tone of their masks look. Look at all these right here. Dude, that one's awesome. Did not see that at Transworld. Very, very cool. I love that green pumpkin right there. That's cool. A lot of clowns, a lot of weird, just creepy things. I like them a lot. Over here we have some scenic design, it looks like. Really like a Bayou Swamp looking booth like this a lot. Look at over this. Now this is awesome. Take a look at all this stuff. Some extreme gore. Look at the detail on these. Really, really nice. These remind me of um, Original Sin, who unfortunately is not uh, here at East Coast Haunters. They go to Transworld, but they're not here. This is Fright Night Studios, LLC. As you can see, about sign up there. Look at that. Super gory. Really, really nice work though. It's all so realistic. Look at that. The little girl in a cage. You have like a mermaid man. Look at the detail on that. You got these heads. Look at the heads there. The detail, the fish skin on this. Really, really nice. Look at that. Look at the face on that. Super realistic. This one over here is crazy. Look at that. So much gore. Her hands are ripped off. Her head is ripped off. Her mouth is like disconjoined. Pretty crazy. You got a decayed skeleton right there. That is uh, Fright Night Studios. Over here, we have some retail masks. It looks like very nice. Look at all the ones we got here. Uh, Michael Myers up there, a Captain Spaulding. They actually have a bunch of Morris costumes animatronics, which is cool to see because you can't really find them in person that much. Like the Cage Kids, Humbling Clown Doll, I have him. They have Cotton Candace, really nice. Got little baby Grinches, which is cool. Let's take a look at what else they have here. Really, really cool stuff. You can actually see some more Morris costumes animatronics, those blue boxes, which is fun. Got some different Trick or Treat Studios Mark Wire masks, which is always nice to see. Little gnomes, look at, oh, look at that, there's Arthur Clown. That's pretty nice. We'll take a look at what animatronics they have. Actually, they have a KG the Clown. Morris costumes KG right here. Very cool. I don't think I've ever seen him in person, actually. I think it's my first time seeing him in person. Swinging Happy Clown, Swing the Decrepit Doll, Tricycle Clown. They, oh, they have a bunch of dolls there, which is exciting. That's pretty cool. Dolls, what else do they have? Seed of Chucky up there. Pretty cool. Let's try to get a little bit closer here. They have a bunch of the SVI dolls. Let's take a look here. Charlie Haunted Doll. More Charlie Haunted Doll also there. Tresco Clown. A bunch of Morris costume stuff, which is awesome to see. It's hard to find Morris costume stuff like, in person. We'll take a look over here. Drop Dead Studios. They have some cool products. I believe I remember seeing them at Transworld. Look at how cool these are. These black light signs are awesome. We have a morgue sign. Love the green glow on that. Funerals and the glow on that clock. Really, really nice. Same sound. Really nice signage. We've got some lighting as well. Drop Dead Studios right there. Look at the lighting. Very, very cool. We've got some explosions up. Huh? Take a look at what they have here. We have some gore, some lab, different things going on. You got a brain, looks like a spine there, a bunch of needles, syringes. Very, very cool. Look at all of that. There are Drop Dead Studios. Over here, actually, I think this is yeah, Pumpkin Pulp. I recognize the uh, the walls here from Transworld. We have Pumpkin Pulp. I love Pumpkin Pulp. They make the uh, Forevermore dolls, as you can see right there. We took a look at a lot of them at Transworld. Let's see what they have here. Actually, the Art the Clown one back there. I love the hangers with the tongues. Every time I see them, they are so neat. You can see them right there. 
pumpkin pulp. It's the sign from Transworld. Very, very nice masks. I like them a lot. Pumpkin pulp always has cool and really creepy stuff. Always very much enjoy their product. We'll come over this way here. I actually see some black light stuff. That always grabs my interest. Look at the glow on these mushrooms over here. Nice black light paint. You can actually buy the black light paint. All different colors. Look at that. Glows way more in person than you're gonna be able to see on camera. They got a black light up there. Really, really cool. I like the staff. Okay, we gotta take a look at this right here. This is one of the most impressive props. I think animatronic, I should say. I've ever seen servo. I don't know what to call this. It's like a servo old man. He's got a red light in his eye. Look at how awesome this is. Look at the way he moves. All servo, the mouth. Whoa, we got a tall guy right here. Look at that. Very nice. Crazy stuff. Really, really nice. There's so much to see here at East Coast Haunters. Same could be said for Transworld. It is crazy here. We got this guy right here too. Look at that. That old man, oh, very, very cool prop. Very awesome. Want to make our way over here. There's an amazing booth right there. We'll take a look at that soon. You can kind of get an overall view of the show here. At least this section of it. It is bigger than this, obviously. What do we got here? Oh, look at all this. We got a whole table here. Wow, a whole haunter table. That is pretty crazy. Let's take a look at this. Field of Screams. An amazing booth here at East Coast Haunters. Maybe my favorite booth of the whole show. Forgive the loudness. I know the music is super loud over here. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I do have a microphone hooked up. Look at this booth. It looks like a shack in the woods. There's fog coming off. There's lighting all over it. There's a scarecrow coming through the door. This is awesome. Looks like a full, a full field of screen haunt just here at the convention center. Really cool, look at that. They actually have screens up there too. That's really nice. A big screen here. Look at this one. Whoa. Look at that, really nice. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We'll move along over here. The other side of the Field of Screams booth. Very nice. We got a cemetery it looks like with some skeletons. An archway. Pretty cool. Look at that right there. What the heck? I know I just said that Field of Screams may be my favorite booth. This may have just beaten it by a tiny bit. This is amazing. We got like a whole giant cemetery here. Mausoleums and all. I think this company is HS? HI? -S? I'm not exactly sure. Fog is going off. Look at this. This is crazy. Really nice prop in there. I don't. Oh, it's Haunt Supply. I, I just realized. Okay, Haunt Supply. HS, Haunt Supply. Haunt Supply was at Transworld. They were the company that put together the full walkthrough haunted house at Transworld. And now they have this. This is awesome. Completely different than what they had at Transworld. This is crazy. That was so incredibly loud. Full mausoleums, candles. I love the LEDs in there. Look at this whole thing here. Font Supply is amazing. Really, really nice stuff. And if you can't tell, this is legit material. Really cool. Look at how creepy that is. I saw these at Transworld. They were nice. And then again, we return to where we were before at Castle Dracula. There's actually a new, a new monster is here now. It wasn't here before. Look at him. Pretty creepy. I want to point this out. This is awesome. I don't believe this company was at Transworld because I don't remember seeing these. Awesome tombstones. These are so, so cool. They are massive in person. That one has got to be like six feet tall right there. Really nice detail. Some's got LEDs in them. Like I can see there, we got a Jack and Sally. Some are big, like that one. Some are even smaller ones, like the Judith Myers. Freddy Krueger one right there. I like that one with the red eyes. You actually have a Beetlejuice tombstone. We'll do as well. Come over here, you can see more of them. Really like these. These are awesome. You can see some of the prices down there for these, which I honestly don't think are that bad for how awesome they look. These things are legit. Really, really nice. I like a lot of these. Look at that cool backdrop too. Very, very nice tombstones here. But we'll move along over here. We have some cool masks, it looks like. 
from Mr. Jimmy FX Creations. We'll take a look at what they have available. As you can tell, it is very crowded here at East Coast Haunters. Just like Transworld, everything is like Transworld here because it's basically Transworld 2. But take a look at these. We got these nice cans. Look at that. We'll take a look at those masks in there. Cool clowns, different color hair. Pretty, pretty nice. We'll walk over here. Try to get in there. We got these awesome masks. These look really nice. Look at all those. That one actually has a light in there. That's cool. Another one with a light. Some different clowns. That is awesome. That looks so cool. That clown with that face. Orange hair. Really, really nice. I like these a lot. Of course, we got to take a look at Distortions Unlimited. They do have a slightly, oh, I should say they have a smaller booth for East Coast Honors. Uh, they do have Scarecrow Wrath, my favorite Distortions 2024 prop on display here. There he is. He's got some lighting. Very, very nice. Again, it's very crowded here, so I'm trying to get the best shots I can of everything. But there's Distortions right there. Scarecrow Wrath. You got Marsha and Ed Edmonds of Distortions here at East Coast Haunters. Awesome to see them. I got to speak to them again earlier, which is cool. Look at this right here. There was a very similar contraption to this at Transworld. It may be the same company. Forgive me because I don't remember. Look at that. That is so cool. Such a cool haunt technique. Really awesome. That is so neat. It's crazy. In person, I know on camera you're probably not getting the depth of it. In person, he jumps out so far. That is awesome. Of course, I'm trying to get over to Morbid Monstrosities. One, another one of my favorite companies. Such amazing product. Yes, right here, this guy. This guy, of course, is that trans world. I love him. He's so cool. Look at that. Morbid Monstrosities with the blood dripping from the head. The leather face character. Look right here. Pretty creepy. Yeah, Morbid Monstrosities is an amazing product. This actually, I don't remember seeing Scooby at Transworld. Zombified Scooby. This guy was at Transworld. We have the pumpkin face, the tall one. Awesome. Another one of my favorites that I saw at Transworld was this one here with the liquid going through two places from the bottle through this head through this head. Look how cool that is. Such a new one. An awesome face on that guy, too. You got all of those back there, too. Kind of like uh, wall plaques almost. Really nice. This one was at Transworld. Such a cool one with the green liquid. The alien. Try to get, look at that. Look at that face. That is so neat. It's got like a black light in there too, so it glows a little bit. It's so cool. Got all these heads. Got some pumpkins, pumpkin face. A Ronald McDonald. I don't think that was that trans world. Another tall one right there. And then the clown. I love Morbid Monstrosities. One of my favorite companies. Look at that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up my full walkthrough of the East Coast Honors Convention, the inaugural East Coast Honors here in Oaks, Pennsylvania. The show was really great. I actually really did enjoy it. So many booths, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And as you saw in the video, it was pretty crowded here. Really, really nice turnout. We got the logo right there. We do think that it'll probably happen again next year because of how good the turnout was. But I guess we'll have to just wait and see. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Pawns. I'm just going to stay there for more Halloween 2024 videos. Goodbye.